What is up my YouTube friends? I get so many questions about problems people have setting up OBS to broadcast a Zoom stream or the other way around. They go to add guests and get a white screen, they get looping audio, high pitched squealing, black screens, all kinds of other problems as well. Today I'll show you how to fix most of the common ones so that your live stream will go off without a hitch. So let's get to it. If you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks that can help make you a better YouTuber, subscribe to the channel and click that bell so you don't miss any new content. Audio questions are the most common for Zoom streams in OBS, so let's tackle these first. If you're getting a high-pitched squeal from audio when you have a guest on your stream, this is called feedback. It happens when audio plays from speakers and it's going back into the microphone and that's why they call it feedback, it's looping back in. To fix this issue, just ask your guests to wear headphones and you won't have the problem anymore. Another common issue is looping audio. And this is where you just keep hearing the audio repeat over and over again. This is caused once again by someone not wearing headphones on the stream. And, you know, it's pretty easy to fix. Just wear headphones. Another possible cause for this is that someone is actually playing the stream through something that your mic is picking up. So if you're actually listening to the stream while it's on YouTube or Facebook or something like that, it's like a 30 second delay. And when you play it, your microphone hears it and plays it back. And that way you get lots of looping audio and it sounds horrible. So just make sure that everything that you don't need to be listening to is muted and you should be okay. The next problem to take on is the white screen. This is a common PC problem when you select zoom stream in the window capture the screen shows up, your guests are just white boxes. You don't see anything. To fix this one, it's really easy. You go to your Zoom settings by clicking on the gear button in the top right hand corner of the main Zoom scheduler window. Then you select video and then advanced. Change video rendering method to direct 3D 11. Once you do, restart Zoom and it will work properly. The black screen in Zoom. I get this question all the time from people trying to use Zoom as an NDI camera for a Zoom broadcast. Usually they'll say it worked fine at first, but then it never worked properly again. Personally, I think this is a case where there might be a step in the process that you might be missing. So let me walk you through the process and I'll show you how it's done. If I open up OBS, you can see here I am. I'm going to go up to tools and I'm going to set my NDI output to main output, which is just going to be the name of your computer. So that can be named anything. Then I'm going to go and I'm going to open up Zoom. And if I go up here to settings and I go to video, NDI video is blank. If I select my local camera, I can still see that. So we know the camera's working, but NDI video is blank. And that's actually because there's one more step in this process that you may have missed. You have to go to your NDI virtual input double click on that get it started then up at the top go ahead and select it so when we go back into zoom now after we started ndi and we go to settings and we go to video boom there we are ndi video is functioning exactly as it's supposed to and if we go to ndi audio guess what that's working as well now if you're using a pc and you're having the same problem if I go into settings and I go into video, you can see that I have the new tech NDI video on, but I'm getting the black screen. So I'm getting the exact same problem I was having on the Mac. So I'm just going to close this here for a second. I'm going to go into my file folders here. We're going to go down to the NDI tools and we're going to run once again that virtual input. And it doesn't seem like it did anything, does it? Well, it did. It's down here in the system tray. If I click plus, there you see it. I can just right click on it, select main, OBS. And now if I go in, there we go. Now we are seeing what is on the screen. Let's go see if the NDI audio is functional as well. And you can see that the NDI audio is functional as well. You got to make sure NDI virtual input is on and also that you've selected the OBS signal. And if you do this, you won't get the black screen anymore. Pretty awesome. Now, if there's another issue that you're having with the OBS zoom process that I didn't mention here, leave a comment below and let me know and I'll see if I can do an update with a solution really soon.
If you want to learn how to add guests in OBS using Zoom, you should check this video out right here. And if you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks to help make you a better YouTuber, subscribe to the channel. My name is Michael Fire Jr. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.